सो वेरी गुड गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू सकल विद्या यूट्यूब चैनल स्टिल जॉइनिंग टुडे आई हैव ऑब्जर्व द मेनी न्यू व्यूअर्स आर देयर सो बिसाइड्स अवर रेगुलर व्यूअर्स ओके राइट नॉर्ल वेंकटेश्वर लू ओके गोपश्री राइट रेगुलर रेगुलर साई प्रसाद सविता तबसुम अंबिका ओके संदीप राइट अश्व रेड्डी एंड नेक्स्ट लावण्य रामैया ओके ओके हाय हाय साई properties of triangle tomorrow onwards properties of triangle only surya prakash okay sri ram harsha okay now tell me sound is clear audio am i audible am i audible Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let us start now. Let us start with today's session. So, limits, because tomorrow we are going to complete this chapter. Don't worry. Next tomorrow uh, morning. we have applications of sorry uh, properties of triangle will be started don't worry okay now i think so 60 question number 60 limit extends to pi wait 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 hi sir good evening okay right 1 minus 4 tan x whole to the power of r raised to cot x equals to first option e second option is e power 4 third option is e power minus 1 fourth option is e power minus 4 so this is the problem okay so any one of our viewers regular viewers please uh, uh, update our timings okay thank you thank you so now limit extends to pi 1 minus 4 tan x all to the power of cot x equals to so now if you substitute the limit see what do you get now 1 minus tan pi 0 1 minus 0 and cot pi is infinity so that means we will be getting 1 to the power of infinity form 1 to the power of infinity form so that means we have one uh, formula i will repeat once again limit extends to a f of x to the power of g of x for example this is 1 to the power of infinity form this we can write e raised to limit extends to a g of x multiplied by f of x minus 1 we can write it so so now we need to apply this one solution say required limit is l this value l equals to limit of this one say for example l here e to the power of limit extends to 
pi this cot x into g of x is equal to cot x into 1 minus 4 tan x this is f of x minus 1 you need to do. So, plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled we have e raised to limit x tends to pi now minus 4 times tan x into cot x tan x into cot x is very interesting we have tan x into cot x is 1 because cot x is 1 by tan x tan x into 1 by tan x becomes 1. So, this is 1. So, that means e to the power of minus 4. So, fourth option is the right option fourth option is the right option ok 58 question I will change it do not worry the question number is 58 the 58. Right. Okay, okay. Vector algebra also uh, I will start. Every chapter I will try to complete, do not worry. Okay. Thank you, Gopasri. Please update our timings, Gopasri. Mention the timings for once again for the sake of new years. Okay. next 59 limit extends to infinity x square plus 1 upon x square minus 1 raised to x square equals to Thank you. First option is E, second option is 1 by E, third option is E square, fourth option is E to the power of minus 2. So, this is the question. Okay. Now, limit extends to infinity x square plus 1 by x square minus 1 raised to x square. See if you substitute the limit coefficient of x square is 1 coefficient of x square 1 1 to the power of infinity form. This is 1 to the power of infinity form. So, we can apply the same shortcut we can apply here required limit is equal to we can write e to the power of e to the power of x square into this x square plus 1 by x square minus 1 minus 1 we can write it. Now, limit x approaches to infinity. So, let it be simplified now. So, this is equal to e to the power of here x square minus 1 is the LCM, x square plus 1 minus into x square minus x square. So, minus into minus plus 1 and multiplied by here we have x square do not forget it and limit x approaches to infinity. So, now x square x square gets cancelled. Now, we have e raised to 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 x square upon x square minus 1 limit extends to infinity. That means, the numerator degrees to denominator degrees to that is why when you apply the limit extends to infinity, the coefficient of x square in the numerator by coefficient of x square in the denominator that is why e to the power of 2 by 1 which equal to e square is our answer. So, third option is the right option. 
okay so now have we noted down have we noted down okay option 3 sai correct correct Om Shri Krishna one time is enough actually it disturbs others ok thank you next question number is 60 question number 60 limit x tends to 1 x to the power of 1 minus 1 by x square equals to first option e to the power of minus 1 by 2 second option e to the power of 2 by 3 third option e to the power of 3 by 2 fourth option e this is the problem ok mokshagnya redigaru so to uh, that will be uh, given notification will be given don't worry limit x tends to 1 x to the power of 1 by 1 minus x square First, if you substitute the limit 1 to the power of 1 by 0, 1 to the power of infinity form. So, same procedure which we have followed in the previous cases need to be applied here L is equal to. So, we can write like this e to the power of this is f of x, this is g of x, g of x 1 by 1 minus x square into f of x this is f of x minus 1 x minus 1 limit x tends to 1 here very interesting this we can write e to the power of x minus 1 1 into x minus 1 upon 1 minus x square factors we have 1 minus x into 1 plus x so limit x tends to 1 so, that means x minus 1, 1 minus x will be gets cancelled, but you get minus 1. You remember this one. Now, apply the limit. If you apply the limit, you will get like this e to the power of minus 1 by in the place of x 1 write down 1 plus 1. So, this equals to e to the power of minus 1 by 2. So, first option is the right option. Okay. No, 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 only math. What's the matter? Okay. Hello, welcome back. So, due to power failure, failure actually we were not able to continue the classes now ok ok are you getting my voice audible thank you thank you so i will repeat the questions once again ok clear 
clear clear thank you thank you thank you this is 58th question Fifty nine, sixty, sixty one. Yes, we need to do sixty one. If f of x is equal to x square plus x minus 1 then limit extends to 1 f of x minus f of 1 upon x minus 1 equals to first option 3, second option 0, third option minus 1, fourth option 2, this is the problem. Okay. Sound disturbance still coming? Sound is ok? Am I audible to you? Audible? Ok, thank you. Sound is ok? Am I audible to you? Audible? Ok. Right. If f of x equals to x square plus x minus 1, minus 1, then limit extends to 1 f of x minus f of 1 by x minus 1 equals to. Okay. Now, we have one formula in differentiation limit x approaches to a f of x minus f of a upon x minus a equals to f dash a that means derivative of f of x at x is equal to a. So, that means if you want to find out this one first let us find out derivative of this function f dash x is equal to x square differentiation 2 x x differentiation 1. Now, the limit x tends to 1 f of x minus f of 1 upon x minus 1 equals to f dash 1. That means, in this substitute x for 1, 2 into 1 plus 1. So, 2 plus 1 equal to 3. That means, option 1. Okay. Right. Sixty two. Limit H tends to zero two plus H cos of 2 plus h minus 2 cos 2 upon h 
equals to okay so now first option cos 2 minus 2 sin 2 second option cos 2 plus 2 sin 2 third option sin 2 minus 2 cos 2 fourth option sin 2 plus 2 cos 2 this is the question Okay. Uh, now, limit h tends to 0, 2 plus h cos of 2 plus h minus 2 cos 2 by h. First, let us substitute the limit h for 0. So, 2 cos 2 minus 2 cos 2 upon 0 that means you will be getting 0 by 0 which is indeterminate form that is why we can apply apply L H rule apply L hospitals rule that means numerator and denominator separately you need to differentiate with respect to H only this means 2 plus H u cos of 2 plus H is V u v derivative you need to do it. So, that means first 2 plus h into derivative of cos is so minus sin into 2 plus h 2 plus h derivative 1 plus cos of 2 plus h into derivative of 2 plus h is 1 whereas 2 cos 2 is constant whose derivative is 0 upon now h differentiation is 1 with respect to h now apply the limit limit h tends to 0 so we get 2 minus this is sin 2 plus this is cos 2 plus 0 cos 2 so this equals to cos 2 minus 2 sin 2 this is the answer so, first option is the answer. Uh, Mr. Vishnu, I already told you in the several times. So, that actually book varies from chapter to chapter. So, next. Sixty three. Question number sixty three. 6 3 limit x tends to 0 log of 1 plus x minus x upon x square first option is 1 by 2 second option is minus 1 by 2, third option is 1 by 3, fourth option is minus 1 by 3. This is the problem. Okay. This will be for E set also. Right. So, now limit x tends to 0 log of 1 plus x minus x by x square. So, first if you substitute the limit log 1 plus 0 log 1 minus 0 by 0 square 0 that means 0 minus 0 by 0, 0 by 0 is in determinant form. So, apply L hospitals rule, apply L hospitals rule, LH rule. 
so that means numerator and denominator are to be differentiated separately so so now this equals to now log of 1 plus x differentiation is 1 by 1 plus x minus x differentiation 1 x square differentiation 2x now limit x tends to 0 again if you put the limit what will happen means 1 by 1 minus 1 by 0 this will be 0 by 0 form again apply l hospitals rule here if you apply the l hospitals rule 1 by 1 plus x differentiation is minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square and minus 1 differentiation is 0 upon 2x differentiation is 2 now the limit x tends to 0. So, if you apply the limit, so what do you get now here? Minus 1 by 1 plus 0 square is 1 by 2 into 1 2. This equal to minus 1 by 1 is minus 1 upon 2, minus 1 upon 2. So, second option, right. here derivative of 2 x is only 2. Now, if you substitute the limit actually here 1 plus 0 square is 1 and by 2. So, minus 1 by 2 is the answer. Now, the 64th limit x tends to 0, x square sin of pi by x equals to first option 1 second option is 0, third option does not exist, does not exist, fourth option is infinity. Okay. Okay. Right. So, now let us move to this question now limit x tends to 0 x square into sin of pi by x equals to. So, this problem can be done in two ways the one is actually using sandwich theorem otherwise one is actually using sin of pi by x is always lies in between minus 1 comma 1 that is the oscillating function that means for all real values sin of pi by x is the finite value. So, x square limit x tends to 0 x square is 0. So, that is why 0 into something you will get 0 that is one method. So, first let us apply Sandwich theorem. So, solution this for all real values sin pi by x lies between minus 1 and 1. less than or equal to 1. Multiply with x square. So, we get minus x square less than or equal to 
x square into sin of pi by x less than or equal to x square. Now, apply the limit. So, limit x tends to 0 minus x square less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x square sin of pi by x less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x square. So, now we get as limit x tends to 0 minus into 0 square 0 less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x square sin of pi by x less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x square also become 0. That means, now the limit x tends to 0 x square sin of pi by x becomes the sandwich between 0 and 0. So, that means, this must be equal to 0. So, therefore, limit x tends to 0 x square of sin of pi by x equal to 0. So, that means, second option. Sixty five, sixty five, right. Limit extends to infinity x square multiplied by two plus sine square x upon x plus 100 equals to first option is 0, second option is 1, third option is infinity, fourth option does not exist, does not exist. Okay, sandwich theorem, let us apply sandwich theorem. Okay. So, now the limit x approaches to infinity x square into 2 plus sin square x upon x plus 100. Okay. So, now the sin square x lies between 0 and 1 we can write like this 0 less than or equal to sin square x sin square x less than or equal to 1 add 1 on both sides throughout add 2 that means you get 2 less than or equal to 2 plus sin square x less than or equal to 3 1 plus 2 3. So, now divide by x plus 100. So, you get like this 2 by x plus 100 less than or equal to 2 plus sin square x upon x plus 100 less than or equal to 3 by x plus 100 multiply with x square, multiply with x square throughout that means. So, now this becomes 2 x square upon x plus 100 less than or equal to x square into 2 plus sin square x by x plus 100 less than or equal to 3 x square by x plus 100. So, now apply throughout limit x approaches to infinity. 
if you apply x approaches to infinity what it becomes now here x square coefficient is 2 here x square coefficient is absent 2 by 0 is infinity less than or equal to let us say this is f of x for example, say f of x this value. So, limit x approaches to infinity f of x less than or equal to infinity. So, simultaneously it becomes infinity itself only. So, that means third option is the right option. Sir, so, in which condition sandwich theorem is applicable? So, sandwich theorem is applicable means whenever the function is exactly defined, it lies in between the interval, then we need to apply the sandwich theorem. So, Anand you are new to my class actually, today only you joined that is why uh, as if you watched the previous videos, you may be getting some idea. Sixty-six. Limit extends to zero. X by a. Integer of b by x. That means b by x is the greatest integer function. A does not equal to zero. Where this is bracket is denotes greatest integer function is equal to put the bracket like this is equal to first option a second option is b third option is b by a, fourth option 1 minus b by a, this is the question. Okay. Why 0 to 1 means sin square x cannot be negative, if you take any negative value it becomes positive, that is why sin square x is always greater than 0 and sin square x will be always less than 1, that is the reason. Okay. So, now limit extends to 0 x by a now integer of b by b by x. So, now we need to define integer of x, integer of x is defined as like this x minus 1 less than integer of x less than or equal to x. So, this is the basic definition of the step function. Similarly, with the help of this instead of this x write on b by x, now we can have we can write like this b by x minus 1 less than or equal to b by x integer of b by x less than or equal to b by x. As for the definition of the step function, range of sin x is minus 1 comma 1 whereas, range of sin square x is 0 to 1. Yes, that is correct. So, now multiply multiply with x by a throughout, then you get like this x by a into b by x minus 1 less than or equal to x by a integral part of b by x less than or equal to x by a multiplied by b by x. Okay. Now, open the brackets x x cancel we have b by a minus 1 less than or equal to sorry this one x by a x by a into b by x b by a minus x by a into 1 x by a x by a integral part of b by x less than or equal to x x cancel b by a 
now apply what is the limit limit is 0 apply limit x tends to 0 now we can write limit x tends to 0 b by a minus x by a less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x by a integral part of b by x ok. So, or greatest integer function of b by x less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 b by a. So, now in the place of x 0, 0 by something 0. So, b by a less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x by a integral part of b by x less than or equal to if the any limit apply to the constant function constant only that means it becomes sandwich between b by a and b by a therefore limit x tends to 0 x by a into b by x equal to b by a so that is the answer ok. This is the application of the sandwich theorem one of the actually viewers asked about the sandwich theorem. So, this is the definition of the greatest integer function in the place of this x first I have written this one that is why b by x minus 1 less than or equal to integral part of b by x less than or equal to b by x we need x by a multiply x by a like this. So, next simplification after that apply the limit see when you apply the limit it becomes 0. So, b by a limit extends to x by a integral part of b by x b by a it is the sandwich between b by a and b by a it must be obviously equal to b by a. So, that is all. sigma x to the power of k, k is the superscript this is called not subscript, k is equal to 1 to 200 minus 200 upon x minus 1 limit x approaches to 1 equals to first option is 50 50, second option is 1000, third option is 2010, fourth option is 2020 oh sorry 20100. I will discuss in functions. Yes, right. So, sigma means summation that is absolutely correct summation limit extends to 1 sigma k is equal to 1 to 200 x to the power of k minus 200 by x minus 1. That means, we can write like this x to the power of 1 plus x square 
plus x cube plus so on dash dash x to the power of 200 minus 200 upon x minus 1. Now, the limit extends to 1. This is the question. So, now if you substitute the limit what happens let us see now. Here 1, 1 square 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 200 times that will be 200 minus 200 upon 1 minus 1 0 by 0 form. You can apply LH rule, LH rule. So, if you apply H rule x differentiation is 1 x square differentiation is 2 x, x cube differentiation is 3 x square plus so on dash dash x to the power of 200 derivative is 200 into x to the power of 199. This is minus 200 differentiation 0 by x minus 1 differentiation is 1. Now, limit extends to 1. So, let us substitute the limit now. Okay. Uh, Surya Prakash, I will explain later, do not worry. So, this equals to substituting now 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on plus 200. See, we have the formula sigma n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2, sum of the first n natural numbers. Here, sum of the first 200 natural numbers need to be evaluated. 200 into 201 by 2. So, that is 100 into 201. So, that is equal to 2010 is the answer. Sorry, 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 absolutely mistaken. Right, 201000. That means Two not one zero zero. Twenty thousand one hundred. The fourth option is the right option. No Rahul, I do not. a plus 2 x root of minus root of 3 x upon 3 a plus x root minus 2 root x limit extends to a equals to okay so now first option 2 by root 3, second option is minus 1 by root 3, third one third one is 2 by 3 root 3, fourth one is 1 by root 3.
So, now limit extends to a uh, if you substitute actually what happens now here a plus 2 a root 3 a root 3 a. So, that means 0 by here 3 a plus a 4 a 2 root a minus 2 root a 0 by 0 form. So, L hospitals rule apply L h rule. So, differentiation of root of a plus 2 x is 1 by 2 root of a plus 2 x into a plus 2 x differentiation is 2 minus 1 by root root of 3 x differentiation 2 root of 3 x into 3 x differentiation is 3 upon this differentiation is 1 by 2 root of 3 a plus x into 3 a plus x differentiation is 1 minus 2 into derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. So, need not be written. So, now limit x approaches to a. Let us simplify first this 2 2 gets cancelled we have substitute the limit. So, we have 1 by root of a plus 2 a root 3 a minus 1 by sorry 3 by 2 root of 3 a upon we have substitute the limit this will be 3 a plus a 4 a. 4 a means 2 root a 2 into 2 4 1 by 4 root a this 2 2 gets cancelled minus 1 by root a. So, you need to simplify this one you need to simplify this one. Uh, let us see now this equals to 2 root of 3 a is root 3 a cancel 2 minus 3 upon here 4 root a 1 minus 4. So, this equals to minus 1 by 2 root 3 into root a multiplied by 4 into root a by this is minus 3 root a root a gets cancelled to 1 ja 2 2 ja and minus minus gets cancelled we have 2 by 3 root 3. So, third option is the right option. Right. So, 69, 69, let alpha, beta be the be the be the roots of roots of a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0. Then limit extends to alpha not infinity this is alpha 1 minus of cos of a x square plus b x plus c upon x minus alpha whole square equals to this is the question.
then limit extends to alpha 1 minus cos of a x square plus b x plus c upon x minus alpha whole square equals to here is clear only video first one a square into alpha minus beta whole square upon 2 second one is a square by alpha minus beta whole square third option a square by 2 into alpha minus beta whole square fourth one minus a square by 2 times alpha minus beta whole square this is the problem ok right let alpha beta be the roots of this equation then we need to find out limit extends to alpha 1 minus cos of a x square plus b x plus c upon x minus alpha whole square that we need to evaluate it. See as for the concept we have since a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 has two roots alpha beta we can write left hand side expression a x square plus b x plus c can be written as a times into x minus alpha into x minus beta. So, this is the first step we need to write it 68 answer ok. right now. So, let us go for the question now. See the what is the question now limit extends to alpha 1 minus cos of a x square means we can write a times x minus alpha into x minus beta. upon what do we have x minus alpha whole square ok. So, next we have one concept the 1 minus cos x equals to you can write approximately equal to this is uh, um, this we can write x square by 2 approximately you can write x square the square of this value we can write it. Similarly, 1 minus cos of means this square by 2 we can write it. So, that means a square x minus alpha square into x minus beta square upon 2 into x minus alpha square limit x approaches to alpha not infinity this is alpha the x minus alpha square x minus alpha square gets cancelled substitute alpha. So, we get a square into alpha minus beta whole square this is the answer. So, now let us see the answer first now by this 2 is there 
yes now let us come to the option first option is the right option Once again check it, seventy question number seventy limit y tends to x y to the power of y minus x to the power of x upon y minus x equals to okay <laughs> you are very logically asked limit y tends to x y to the power of y minus x to the power of x upon y minus x first option is x into y to the power of x minus 1 second option x to the power of x into 1 plus log x third option is y into x to the power of y minus 1 fourth option is product of x and y x y how to take ok so a x square plus that means actually c a x square plus b x plus c for example you have considered take out a common if you take a common you get x square plus b by a x plus c by a this we can write a into x square minus of minus b by a x plus c by a. Since alpha beta are the roots of this equation, this we can write a times x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. This we can write a into x minus alpha into x minus beta. So, this is the reason. I have written in the previous problem. Okay. So, limits is very easy chapter do not worry that is actually as you know the differentiation you can understand. Okay, Gita Patil today only you attended you just uh, Ravi Sankar you need to actually watch my previous videos definitely you will get idea. Okay. As y approaches to x means here x becomes constant. So, now so now here differentiate with respect to y differentiate with respect to y. So, before that you remember this shortcut d by d x of x to the power of x is x to the power of x into 1 plus log x. This already I have discussed in derivative chapter. You may find in the playlist mset 2020 playlist under playlist you watch derivative chapter you will have lot of shortcuts like this. Okay. So, now So, this is y to the power of y and y you need to differentiate this is constant these two are L h rule apply L h rule. See y to the power of y differentiation with respect to a y that means y to the power of y into 1 plus log y minus x to the power of x is constant 0 y differentiation 1 minus constant x differentiation 0. 
limit y tends to 0 in the place of y x red x to the power of x into 1 plus log x. So, this is the answer second option. Okay. Because just we have completed up to level 2 pro level 2 problems only still we have level 3 problems that is why in limits we need to discuss level 3 also. Right. Seventy one limit x approaches to infinity. This is not alpha infinity x square minus one upon x plus one minus a x minus b equals to two. Then first option a is equal to 1, b equals to minus 3, second one a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, 3, a is equal to 0, b is equal to minus 1, fourth one a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. So, this is the problem. Geeta Patil have you subscribed first of all tell me. So, now limit x tends to infinity x square minus 1 by x plus 1 minus a x minus b a minus a x minus b is equal to 2 this is the finite limit finite limit means though we have 0 by 0 by elaspedal's rule we need to get the constant so that means now first we need to simplify this one so now take x plus 1 lcm x square minus 1 minus ax into x plus 1 minus ax square minus a x into plus 1 minus a x minus b into x minus b x minus b into plus 1 minus b. Okay. So, now the limit x approaches to infinity is equal to finite value constant 2. So, now x square x square we can take out common we have 1 minus a of x square here take x common we have minus of a plus b into x next minus b minus 1 upon x plus 1 limit x approaches to infinity is equal to 2 apply LH rule apply L H rule. So, differentiation of x square is 2 x. So, we have 2 times 1 minus a into x minus of a plus b this is constant 0 equal to x plus 1 differentiation is 1 2 equating the coefficients. equating coefficients. So, here x coefficient is absent RHS. So, that means we get 1 minus a is equal to 0. So, minus of a plus b is equal to we have 2. So, a equals to 1 and a plus b equals to minus 2 substitute 1 plus b equals to minus 2. So, b equals to minus 3. So, that means first option is the right option. Okay. Nanda Kumar you are also new to my class, you are also new to my class. 
first watch all the my videos 69 videos uploaded so far you need to watch first right Okay, definitely Chalma Shastri Garu to, today onwards I will do one thing only admins uh, after evening I will close the sessions whatsapp session. Thank you for reminding me. Seventy two question number 72 right so properties of triangle geeta patil tomorrow okay let fractional part of x not integral part fractional part of x be the fractional part fractional part of x this denoted by bracket of x be the partial fract part of x then limit extends to 0 So, fractional part of x upon tan of fractional part of x equal to first option minus 1, second option 1, third option 0, fourth option does not exist does not exist okay number is given whose number that is okay so this is the fractional part of x limit extends to 0 fractional part of x by tan of fractional part of x. So, that means you see this fractional part of x is equal to x minus integral part of x. So, if you subtract integral part from any number you will get fractional part because any number will be like this any number will be integral part plus fractional part. So, now from this one integral part is subtracted you get fractional part this is x minus step x. So, that means first let us find out LHL left hand limit limit x approaches to from left side 0 minus this mi minus indicates left side instead of this uh, fractional part x we replace x minus step x by tan of x minus step x ok. That means actually here you can write so this will be you can write like this zero sorry one minute I will tell you. 1 less than x x less than or equal to 0 that means ok. So, that means now this is equal to integral part of x is equal to we can write 0 this means limit x tends to 0 x by tan x you will get 1 this limit is 1. Now, 
you find RHL, right?